So people are starting to boycott Sephora because of the disgusting way that they fired over 3,000 of their American employees because of the virus, right after they said that they would be taking care of them. Hey, what's up guys, it's Mackenzie here and I hope you're all having an awesome day. Today on IELTS, I'm gonna be filling you in on why tons of people in the makeup community are mad at Sephora and why you might think twice about supporting them after this whole virus is over. Before I get into it though, double check that you're subscribed because you don't wanna miss all the tea that we spill on the channel daily. Trust me. <laughs> okay, so on March 17th, Sephora publicly announced that they were gonna be closing their stores until April 7th to stop the spread of the virus. But when that April date was approaching and they realized they could not open when they earlier thought, they thought they could save some quick cash by laying off 3,754 of their employees in the States, Nylon confirmed, saying in a statement that they were laying off a portion of its part-time and seasonal store employees due to the outbreak. But the way that they have laid off these employees has got a lot of people talking. As many employees have now spoken out that the company laid off everyone in a group conference call that the employees were not prepared at all for, where they were told to mute their mics, then after Sephora told them the horrible news, they cut the call and did not leave any time for the employees to ask questions. And one woman in particular said that after they ended the call, you could hear some people crying. Sephora stated that those that were laid off were offered severance and provided with resources to support their transition, including coordination with companies that provide essential services and may be hiring at this time, the statement explained. They also continued to save face by telling everyone that they are still planning to continue to employ nearly 9,000 full-time employees, including beauty advisors. Those still employed, including any remaining part-time employees, would be paid 100% based on average hours worked and existing health benefits through late May or until our stores reopen, whichever happens sooner. The company confirmed in a statement to Nylon. But something to note is that on the Canadian side, all employees are being retained and will keep 100% of their health benefits for the time being. However, they will see a pay cut of 20%, a move that applies to both store and corporate employees. So with no layoffs in Canada, it seems like Canada is handling this a lot better than their American counterparts, so maybe don't boycott Canadian stores. <laughs> One of the reasons that employees are feeling very blindsided is that in March, after they decided to close stores, Sephora announced it intended to pay all of its employees for scheduled shifts during the duration of the closures, as well as health and wellness benefits for employees currently enrolled. But that was before they were forced to extend their closure into April. One employee spoke about her experience to Nylon. Britt Corpender, a former Sephora employee, said that she, along with her fellow employees, were blindsided by the firing. Prior to the phone call, Corpender said that the company had told us payments would stay the same and that everything would be taken care of, and there was no threat whatsoever to our jobs and she stated that she had worked with Sephora for over a year and a half. She said that the firings were made by phone call and all part-time employees were allegedly notified 20 minutes before that an urgent last minute call was scheduled. She said, quote, we were told to mute ourselves and had to listen as we were told we were laid off effective immediately. We were not allowed to ask questions. Call was ended and you heard cries as it ended from people who weren't muted, which is just, oh, that is just so, Sad, I can't even imagine being on that call. And this raises some questions to me. As Sephora said that they were laying off short-term employees, but since Britt said she worked there for over a year and a half, that kind of seems like a lie on Sephora's part. Also, Britt added later that the company did not even confirm that these employees would be rehired. They just pointed employees to apply for companies that could be looking for employees and told them they might be able to reapply in the future. And so of course, after all this, social media is blowing up with people outraged at the company and stating that they're planning on boycotting the store. Britt Corpender, who I spoke about earlier, actually had one of her tweets go viral in which she said, quote, Sephora ruined our lives, LOL, point blank, period. Great conference call, guys. Thanks for hanging up and not letting anyone speak. Thanks for breaking all our hearts, but beauty standards together, right? Then she followed it up with, Sephora was pushing all of us to go to school and to get a Cosmo slash esthetician's license. They said in return, they will compensate us for it once we get the license. So free school, now what question mark? You fired us. How are you gonna repay everyone now? So yeah, I can completely understand her outrage here. Another Twitter account that has also been posting a lot about this story in general is Tea Spill YT on Twitter. In some of their tweets, they brought up how other small companies are doing their best to retain employees, so Sephora has no excuse. Then they reminded us all that Sephora is still raking in tons of money through online shopping, saying, quote, 
Keep in mind, Sephora is still making tons of money by selling online and can afford to offer free shipping. They're a multi-billion dollar company promise their loyal employees their jobs back once this is done. They then reminded us all that Sephora makes billions and is owned by a conglomerate that is owned by the third richest person on earth, which makes this whole situation even more awful. So of course, after all this, tons of people are using the hashtag Sephora is over party to claim that they are not supporting the brand. Instead, with a ton of people saying that they're gonna choose Ulta and Morphe instead. So yeah, that's all from me guys. Let me know your thoughts on all this below. For me, I can understand that they did have to lay off employees in these trying times. Like I definitely get that. A lot of companies are doing that. But also more could have and should have been done to support workers, you know, in these desperate times. Like they could have made some sort of a compromise to pay them less but still something. And they could at the very least guarantee that they will get their jobs back after all this is over. And they of course could have done this whole thing in a way more respectful manner than on a conference call with hundreds of people in it. Like I think that's probably the worst part, like having to hear sobs after you're getting fired of other hundreds of boys that are on a conference call with you that is just kind of sick, not gonna lie. But anyways, let me know what you're thinking in the comments down below about all this. But actually to finish off the video, I'm gonna shout out some comments from my celebrities that were mommy shamed video. So I'm Mad Ratchet said, woman gets shamed for not losing weight right after pregnancy. Woman gets shamed for working right after her pregnancy. Hmm, okay. And yeah, I think that just sums it up really in one comment of this whole video. It's really unfortunate people are getting shamed for going to dinner and going to work. Then Sweet B said, apart from Mariah Carey, none of these were that bad at all. People are the worst. Go watch your kid instead of complaining about nothing on social media. And preach, sister, I could not agree more. And then Diana said, the people that actually thought it was a corset troubled me. It was clearly just fabric, even on North. Kim didn't need to clarify that. And I agree, like you could tell by the paparazzi photos, pictures, video, whatever, that it was clearly very loose fitting and it wasn't constraining her body at all. So I think that was definitely just people hating on Kim to hate on her for any reason they can. Okay guys, well that's it for me. Thanks so much for watching and subscribe down below if you're not already to stay up to date with us. And I'll see you guys in the next video.